Welcome to Realtor Speaks channel where the focus will mainly be on commercial real estate. This is a first in a series about commercial real estate. My name is Loida, a licensed and experienced realtor who will provide you with necessary information, tips and resources to assist you on your journey of becoming a commercial real estate agent. If you haven't subscribed to this channel please do. Like and comment as well and hit the notification bell as we will be uploading weekly videos. So what is commercial real estate? Well, it is the sale, purchase, and, leasing of commercial properties. And, these actions are carried out by commercial real estate agents who typically work for commercial real estate firms or large companies that own their own buildings. Commercial real estate agents can also work independently as a self-employed agent. They are trained to know the specifics of this industry such as how to calculate the value of a property or how to negotiate a lease. What does a commercial real estate agent do? They work with clients to find the perfect property for them. They provide clients with information about the market, negotiating prices, and drafting contracts. They help the company find a building for rent, sell the lease to a business, or buy property for their own use. Commercial real estate agents are also responsible for advising clients on a variety of matters such as zoning restrictions and tax implications of various transactions. Commercial real estate agents are responsible for finding, negotiating, and closing deals for commercial properties. They also advise clients on how to invest in commercial properties. These agents are also in charge of finding and leasing commercial properties. They work with both tenants and landlords to make the process as smooth as possible. Commercial real estate agents need to be knowledgeable about a wide range of topics. I'm talking about topics like property management, finance, law, and government regulations. Commercial real estate agents need to have excellent communication skills. They must work well with people from all backgrounds and cultures, be able to handle stressful situations, and have a passion for their work. The first step to becoming a commercial realtor is to get your license. The license is usually obtained by taking courses at an accredited college with a degree in real estate or business administration. Once you have your license, you can start working as an intern to gain experience. After that you can work at lower levels of responsibility until you are ready for more responsibility and higher paying jobs. In New York City, to get your commercial real estate license you must pass the GRI exam and get your broker's license. GRI stands for Graduate, Realtor Registered Institute, GRI, designation which happens to be a professional certificate of distinction. How to get a broker's license in New York City So the New York City Department of Buildings regulates the construction and alteration of buildings and that includes residential buildings. Anyone who buys and sells real estate in New York City must have a broker's license and this license is issued by the New York City Department of Consumer Affairs. In order to get a broker's license in New York City, there are certain requirements that need to be met. For example, applicants must have a high school diploma or GED equivalent and at least two years of experience working in real estate or as a licensed salesperson with at least one year of experience working as an agent in New York State. They must also pass an examination on state law and city law along with real estate business law and multiple dwelling law. The following are some steps to becoming a licensed commercial real estate broker in New York City. 1. Meet the education requirements for the license. 2. Submit an application for a license to the Department of Consumer Affairs. 3. Complete at least 24 hours of pre-licensing education and pass the exam with a score of 70% or higher. 4. Submit an application with two passport-sized photos, two character references and $200 fee to Department of Consumer Affairs' Licensing Division Office, located at 1, Center Street, Room 1117, New York City 10007. 5. Submit fingerprints to New York State Department of Criminal Justice Services for criminal background check and submit New York State driver's license or non-driver ID card. Education requirements for the commercial realtor license There are three types of commercial real estate licenses, a broker's license, a salesperson's license, and a property manager's license. The requirements to obtain each vary in terms of education, experience, and testing. The broker's license is the most difficult to attain. To be eligible for the broker's license an individual must have at least two years of experience as a licensed property manager or salesperson and complete 60 hours of college coursework or its equivalent. 
In contrast, one can become a property manager with just one year of experience in the industry and some college coursework. Salespersons must have at least one year of experience in the industry and some college coursework in order to qualify for this type of license. Stay tuned for the next video where we will cover the commercial real estate agent education and what it consists of.